good morning friends my heartiest welcome to you all and the managing committee members it is great pleasure to meet you all through this forum for the webinar on melt to blown pp for ppe i believe this right time to explore this subject and hope it would be useful topic to for the current situation this is the only way to be delegates and to share knowledge for ipa chennai chapter is intend to do the service to the industry we will do it for you with your support hope you will support us i would like to welcome our speaker mr yarkson technical head of king for science and technology india limited with your permission i invite mr balaji joint secretary of chennai chapter to introduce today's speaker welcome mr balaji good morning all good morning to all the participant guest ipa members and all the people uh, today's lecture is about the melt blown pp for ppe as mr nanda kumar rightly said the need of the hour is hygienics for the hygienics today we are mandated to go out of our house with uh, the mask on our face which has become essential today and many people are still not able to understand exactly the function of the ppe mask as it is the different kinds of mask and what are all the different parts going into the mask the performance or the function of each of the layers coming into the mask people talk of four layer five layer but what is it so today's lecture attempts to explain some of the basics for the mask and uh, the ingredients again plastics comes to the help of the society the melt blown pp is a layer that comes in the mask which gives a filtration against the virus and bacteria our speaker mr yar has been part of kingfa for the past 13 years he is a post graduate in plastic science and technology he started uh, getting into the r and d way back in 2012 then he moved into the carbon fiber composites development he is a person responsible for developing long glass fiber composites as well as long carbon fiber composites for kingfa uh, six months back he was deputed to be the head of the technical for uh, kingfa india and his uh, main outlook is to localize all the engineering pl plastics grade within india and introduce the long glass fiber composites in india also uh, in today's lecture he will attempt to talk about the importance of the melt blown pp how melt blown pp can be converted into the useful uh, filtering layer in ppe and what are all the issues associated in the manufacturer and some insights on troubleshooting the manufacturer at the melt blown pp fabric stage over to mr yark okay thank you mr palaj thank you uh, okay thank you all uh, first I, i would like to thank uh, ipi to give me the chances to give the presentation uh, for all of you so it's my honor to be here uh, but this uh, this time is the webinar uh, i wish uh, maybe soon i will come back to india and then we can discuss we can have a, a seminar and then we can discuss uh, face by face okay uh, first uh, i would like to share my experience Uh, of about the corona virus in china uh, on 22nd january i can come back from india to china here is a photo i arrived at the guangzhou airport i see everyone most of everyone is wear a mask about a half an hour later our government announced the lockdown in wuhan city and about a And uh, after one day, the lockdown for the whole province, and later the whole China is locked down. So we have to stay at home to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Fortunately, after about uh, two months, uh, the lockdown is was lifted in Wuhan. We saw uh, we 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 don't uh, the coronavirus. Uh, is stop uh, spread in our country so i think uh, in this presentation i will share some experience of what we have done and what we should do to stop the 
pandemic of coronavirus. Um, to stop this virus, the most useful or effective way is by the vaccine. Uh, unfortunately, we're waiting for the vaccine to, uh, to produce, to use in, uh, widely, but now we're still waiting. Maybe in, end, in the end of this year or next year, we will have this. But before that, what we can do? So I think uh, first we need to knock down. But if we knock down the economic, will stop, we don't have a job. So this is also a big problem. The second, we need to wear some personal protective equipment, such like a mask. So in this uh, presentation, I will focus on the mask and uh, how we can protect ourselves. Besides, we need to keep some social distance and also we should to isolation the confirmed patient and some contact. So this is what we can do to prevent the virus. Uh, this is my presentation. They have four parts. Uh, at first, I would like to introduce the PPE, how to protect our, ourselves from the virus. The virus uh, can spread very easily from in the air. So when we're talking, when we're talking or when we're sneezing, there are many droplets from our mouth or nose. They can travel to about more than 150 feet. This it depends on different size. The small size can travel, travel a little far than the uh, larger particles. So if we don't have any protective, then our human is very easily to be infected by this droplet because in this droplet, there are many virus. So uh, we need to, the, 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 uh, we, we need to wear the mask to protect ourselves. And uh, we also need to wear the mask to protect others. Uh, we can have this photo, this person wear a mask with a virus. This mask, they can protect only himself. They cannot protect others. So that's why we need to wear the right mask to stop the propagation of the virus. The mask, uh, we can divide it to two, part, two, two type. One type is for civil. This is for industrial use. Another is for surgical or medical use. So in different country, they have a different uh, levels of mask such like uh, N95, it means, 95 means the level of filtration. They can prevent the particles, uh, some droplet or some, uh, uh, under the virus to, to come into our mouth or our nose, then they can protect ourselves. So if we choose the uh, mask, we need to understand what this mean and uh, why it can protect ourselves. Here, uh, I share a, a figure about the particle size and the uh, uh, PFE of each mask. So uh, first we need to understand the size of the droplet. Uh, most of droplet or bacteria, the size is 0 0.7 to 2 micron. So this is some big droplet. But if the droplet is droplet nuclei, the size is 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 micron. So we should pre prevent this kind of uh, particle to come into our mouth. So we have a different kind of uh, mask. Uh, first is the gauze mask. Uh, in my hand, this is a gauss mask. The protect the PFE is very low; it's only less than twenty percent. That means most of the virus will come through this mask and uh, into our mouth. So this is not uh, effective. Then it's come to some cotton mask. 
the quarter mask is also not very useful. Then uh, we need to choose some medical mask or su surgical mask. In my hand, this is a medical mask. The, this mask can prove the PFE is about uh, uh, 80 80 percent. So that means 80 percent of particle can be prevented from, from by this mask. And then we also have some uh, this folded N95 mask or K95 or FFP2. So this mask is more useful because the particle filtration efficiency is above 95 percent. Most of these particles uh, is, cannot come into the mouse. So some people will ask why this kind of mask can prevent our, can pre protect ourselves, but why some mask is not useful. So we need to come to take a look at the structure. Uh, if we have this mask, we can cut it into we can cut this mask and then we can find uh, what it is inside the mask. This is a three ply mask. So uh, after I cut this uh, mask, we can find there are three plies. Uh, the, outer, the outer layer is a spawn bound fabric. And uh, in the middle layer is a metal blown fabric. So this middle layer can protect ourselves from the virus. So here is some compare about this two fabric. The spawn bound is very strong and uh, it's not very easy to break. They have a good strength, but the filtration effect is not good. And the metal blown fabric, uh, the fiber diameter is only two to five percent uh, micron. And the filtration effect is very good, but it's very easy to break. So we put in the middle layer. And so if we have this mask, the metal blown fabric can prevent, can block, the, can capture the virus and protect ourselves. And if we check the five ply, the structure is similar. We have a two metal blown fabric in this mask. That means they can capture more particles, more virus. So that this N95 mask can protect ourselves effectively. So if we take a look at the microstructure of the uh, metal blown fabric. This is the uh, microstructure. We can find the fiber is very thin. The diameter is about two to five microns. And uh, so they can stop some big particles. And uh, around the fiber, they on the surface, they have some electrical static. So they can capture some particles by the static electricity. So by this three factor, the fiber diameter, the evenly distribution and the static electricity, then this metal blown fabric can capture the virus. Then we can meet a standard of each requirement from the NIOSH, from the CE certification. Then we can meet the bacterial filtration efficiency or the particle filtration efficiency. So this is why the mask uh, have this uh, effect to capture the virus. In this slide, it show different uh, kind of uh, mechanism to capture the, uh, to capture the virus, but the most useful is the electrostatic absorption. We can find around the fiber, there are many uh, positive uh, static electricity. So that's why 
this is working. And uh, we can have a look at how this metal blown fabric is producing. This is the tile. The PP melt comes from this tile and belong to the fabric. And then come to this electric electric charging. Then this fabric have the static electricity. And after the cutting, then this fiber was widened. So this is the so this is the production of this uh, metal balloon fabric. Okay, and uh, for the production, this is a whole picture of how from the raw material to the metal balloon fabric. First, we need the metal balloon PP and mix with some electric mask batch, then mix it together and then the raw material coming into the extruder. In the extruder, the material is melted and uh, come to the tile. This tile, we have some spin rate uh, plate. In this place, the PP melt is blown by the hot air and come to extended to, to very thin fiber and then come to the collector. In here, the fabric is formed and uh, by this electric charger the fabric gets some static electricity then we get the final uh, fabric okay this is some uh, uh, introduction to the metal balloon fabric how it produced and uh, for this metal fabric they have some important specification we need to, to check if whether is okay or not. The first important is the filtration efficiency. So we need to stop the virus spare, spread. So we need to have this BFE and the PFE. How to test the filtration uh, efficiency? This is very simple. Uh, we have some salt particles from this machine and uh, these particles like uh, with some air they can come into the test filter in here we put some fabric in this place so we count the particle before this filter and after the filter then calculate how much how much particles was blocked or prevented uh, from this fabric so if the efficiency is high, it means uh, it's the, the efficient, uh, they can prevent more particles. So if the PFE or BFE is higher, that means it's more effective. Uh, second one is the resistance. When we wear a, wear a mask, uh, if the resistance is uh, much higher, then it's very difficult for us to breathe. So if the resistance is lower, it means we can breathe uh, more free, more, more freely. Second, uh, we need to control the grammage of the metal balloon fabric. Uh, the grammage is the weight per square meter. Uh, normally we use GSM, here is we cut the fabric into some uh, round pieces and then uh, use the weight to get the value. And then, it, uh, for example, if the grammage uh, specification is 25 GSM, uh, we have a 7% deviation. So we can find uh, to check along the width, each place, what's the grammage and to find the value. If some value is lower or higher, we need to make some correction to make it, uh, uh, to, to, to make it uh, stable and to decrease the GSM or increase the GSM. So this is, uh, 
This is grammage we need to control during the production. The third part is the uh, mechanical properties. Uh, when we use in the, this fabric, they, need, they also have some tensile strength and elongation. We use this tensile machine to test the property. We cut the sample by some scissor or, or knife. The length is 20 centimeter. The width is five centimeter. And uh, our specification for this uh, tensile strength is more than 10 Newton. Elongation is about 20%. If our test result is lower than this specification, that means the fabric is a little brittle and uh, very easy to break. So this is when we get this fabric or what we should to test. Okay, on the third part, I would like to introduce uh, how to make this uh, metal balloon fabric and uh, uh, how, to, uh, how to adjust the processing parameter because uh, for, for this production, it's very simple. Uh, the principle is very simple. The PP melt come into the dial, and in the dial, they have some, they have a one spin rate plate. In this plate, they have a thousands of small holes. The dimension of each hole is only 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeter. Uh, millimeter. So the PP melt PP melt come from this hole and then extended to the fiber by the hot air. So if the MFI is higher, then it's very easy to flow and uh, easy to extend it to finer fibers. So we choose the MFI is 1500 uh, metal balloon PP to make this metal balloon fabric. Uh, besides that, we need to control other properties such like ash content. If they have some ash content in metal balloon PP, it's very easy to block these small holes. So that means we need to stop. If the, the hole is, is blocked, we need to stop the production and to clean the spin rate plate and to clean all the holes so this is very hard work. So when we choose the metal balloon PP, we need to follow this requirement. Then we can get some continuous production. And uh, this metal, B, metal balloon PP, uh, if we want to find 15, 1500 uh, MFI, so normally, the PP MFI is around 30. Uh, some higher MFI is uh, 100 for our injection. But for the metal balloon, we need to find higher. So how we do it to increase the MFI from 30 to 1500? So this is uh, one point we should to find out the solution. And uh, uh, we can use the peroxide. We can add some peroxide in the PP and then we come to the extruder. Then we can get some high MFI. So we, we find a different uh, dosage of this peroxide, then the MFI is increased. And finally, we get 0.4% of peroxide, then we can get 1500 MFI. So this is how did we make this uh, product. They have some reaction in the extruder, then the, the PP mo mo molecular weight can decrease, then we can get a higher MFI metal balloon fabric. Uh, besides the metal balloon fabric, we need to add some electric master batch why we need to add this one? Because for PP, the dielectric constant is very low. That means if we get the electric charger, 
in this fiber, we cannot get, get a very, uh, uh, very much uh, elect static electricity. So we need to add some nanoscale in organic filler. This filler, they have a very high dielectric constant, which means they can capture, they can capture a more static uh, electricity and they can use it for a long time. So that's why we need to add this electric mass part with, with, together with the metal blown PP in this production. Here is some uh, TDS of Kinfa uh, material for the metal blown PP and the electric uh, master batch. Okay, we come to the uh, processing. How, we, how can we make a good product of metal blown fabric? First is we need to control the grammage. We want to make a 25 GSM metal blown fabric then we need to find out the grammage, the grammage is related to the frequency of meter pump, which means the output of the extruder. Second is the line speed. So the factor one, this frequency of meter, meter pump and the line speed can influence the grammage. But sometimes if we, uh, if we, keep the fre frequency output and the line speed the same, sometimes the grammage can also change. So there have something different in this constant. This constant is related to our raw material, such like the MFI is changed uh, from 1500 to, to, uh, to 1200 then the grammage will also change. Another one is the mesh status on the filter and the dial. In the point four and the point five, we add some mesh to, to filter some impurity. If this mesh is stopped or blocked by some impurity, then the grammage will, will decrease. So, this is about the grammage and some influence factors. If we don't have a, uh, if we don't get the uh, stable grammage, we need to uh, check this five point. Then second is about the fiber. Uh, the most important is the fiber diameter. We want to get some, uh, diameter with two to five micro. This is very critical to our uh, filtration to the strength. So first we check the temperature, both of the melt temperature and the hot air temperature can influence the fiber diameter. We first check this uh, on the left figure. This is the distance from, from the spin rate to, uh, to the uh, to the collector. Uh, I, when, when, when the PP melt come from the holes, the dimension is about 70 micron, but after the hot air extension, then it's decreased to five or 10 micron. So if the temperature is from 250 or 260 to 360, the final fiber diameter can decrease to about five micron. So if we want to get a good uh, final fiber, we need to increase the metal, metal temperature. So this is the metal temperature influence. Second is the hot air. Uh, in this photo, we can have some SEM photo. If we increase 10 degree, the fiber, the fiber diameter will come to about two to four micron. But uh, if at a lower temperature, the fiber is about uh, five or six or even, even larger. So this is, uh, we need to control the temperature of our melt and the hot air. 
Also, our op output can influence the, our fiber diameter. In this photo, it's the fiber diameter related to output. Uh, first, we can take some example. If we want to make some five micro um, fiber, and we find this one, and uh, in line one, the output is 0 0.7 gram per hole per minute. Uh, if we if we have a, a die, the width is 1.7 meter. They have a 2,000 holes. Then it means the output is 84 feet per hour. Uh, but if if we want to make two micro, then the output is about 0 0.1 gram per hole per minute. And uh, the output then is come to only 12 kg per hour. So by this, uh, by this figure, we can calculate how about our output and uh, how about the final fiber micron we can get. So this is the output. If output is higher, then the fiber will become, uh, that diameter will be, become bigger. And second is the hot air speed and pressure. Uh, in this figure, the line two, the hot air speed is 200 meter per second. Uh, line one is 500. So from line one to line, line two to line one, the fiber will decrease. It means the higher hot air speed, the fiber diameter will de decrease or will decrease. Also is the pressure, if the hot air pressure increase, also the diameter will decrease. And then uh, another factor is the die to collect the distance. Uh, during the machine design, we have a two kinds of uh, design. One design is horizontal, the die come here. And then the, the fiber is horizontal. Another one is vertical, the die from up to down and here on the below is the, is the collector. Uh, the hor horizontal design is mainly for some small machine and for some big machine uh, larger than 1.6 uh, uh, meter width, then we need to use the vertical design. Uh, during our production, uh, the connector is far from this uh, dial, but after the no, uh, normal production, we need to choose to move this collector close to this fiber, uh, to this dial. Uh, if we decrease the distance, that means the cooling is not enough, and uh, the fabric can bonding is uh, the fabric bonding each other is much better. Then the, fa the fabric can become hard and strong, and also the flying fiber will decrease. So this is a way should that you find a suitable uh, DCD distance. After the, the fiber is come out, they will come they will come to the electric charging. So we have a dif uh, different way to get electric charging. Uh, in most of design, we will choose uh, the method, uh, the, the, the D, the D design. Uh, we can find in this, uh, the fabric come to the uh, electric charging. This bar, this steel bar is connected to the steel. And uh, on the bar is a uh, electric wire. This wire is connected to some machine. They have a high uh, wattage, and they they can make some charging to the this fabric. After the charging, our uh, PFE and the BFE will increase a lot, from uh, such like a PFE from twenty. 
28 to 76. And if we add some electric mass batch, then the PFE can come to 96%. So this is uh, the effect uh, of electrical charging. Also, the distance of the electrical wire to the fabric is also critical to the filtration. Uh, this is different uh, distance. If the distance is 10 cent centimeter, it's much closer, close to the fabric, the filtration will become uh, very high. If, if the distance is far, then the filtration is not good. So we should also to find a good distance of this electrical wire to the fabric. So uh, in this slide, uh, we summary the factor which can influence the property of this uh, metal balloon fabric. So for the filtration, uh, all the property, uh, all the parameter can influence the filtration. For the, uh, for the grammage also, uh, some will influence. So if we have any uh, problem about the filtration of grammage or mechanical property, we need to check all the factors and to, to find out which is uh, the reason for this issue. Okay, uh, we go to the last part is about some troubleshooting and case study. Uh, during our production, they will come some defect. The first one is the crystal point. Uh, in this SEM, we can find this, uh, this particle is about 28 uh, microns. So it's very big. This is because during the metal balloon, the temperature of melt or hot air is too high. So it's not cooling enough. And the, then the melts come to the collector. So it stay in the in our fabric. So we should to uh, against this reason and they, we can have some solution to decrease this crystal point. A uh, second is some flying fibers. Here is a dye from the dye to the collector. Around the environmental, there's so many uh, fiber come out. So,
uh, sorry for the inconvenience uh, we are checking it balaj sir uh, can you check with the arc yeah i am just checking the host i'm just checking it dear attendees please stay hold because we have a, have a, some technical issue at our uh, presenter side we will be getting to you know soon so yaar can you hear us uh, i think some disruption in transmission at your end hello Uh, Mr. Yark, no? you are back. You are back now. Yeah, you can continue. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can hear you now, loud from, and clear. Okay. This, you can go to the uh, to previous, previous, previous slide. Previous slide. The previous slide. This one. Uh, the the one before. This one. The yeah yeah, yeah from here yes yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, guest. Uh, sorry for the disturbance. We will continue that now. Okay. Okay. Fine. Ah, uh, we come back. Yeah. So for the flying fiber. Uh, this is uh, we can see from the dial to the collector. Uh, the, uh, there are so many uh, fibers from up and down and fly all over the the, the room. So uh, we need to find to check first whether the dial is proper properly installed. Sometimes if the dial is not uh, installed. Uh, Perf uh, perfect, then the fiber will come to the air. The second is the temperature of the hot, hot air or the melt is too high, it's not cooling, then they can also fly everywhere. Also the hot air speed is too fast. And uh, if the distance from the collector to the die is too far, then the fiber will also come out so this is uh, some issue we were encountered. Then uh, this is the, some brittle, brittle uh, list is very to break. Uh, in this photo, we can find this fiber is very brittle. Uh, it's very hard by our visual check. This is because uh, one, reason is output is too much. Uh, if the output is too much, the fiber diameter is very big. And then uh, second is the temperature of melt and the hot air is not high enough. And the hot air speed is too slow. Uh, this three reason it can lead to very big, uh, big di diameter fiber then the fiber, uh, the fabric will become very, very hard and easy to break. So 
this is uh, uh, the processing parameter we can change, we can increase or decrease. So what will happen to our fabric diameter and uh, uh, the crystal point and flying fiber and also the, the strength. So if some issue happened, we can check this uh, slide and then to get some trial to decrease or increase some parameter to find out whether it's working or not. Uh, at last, I, need, I would like to share uh, some case study we have uh, found. Uh, th uh, this is one customer they showed to us. They said our grammage decreased from 25 to 13 GSM, but during the production, they don't change any parameter. Such as, such as the output is not changed. The line speed is not changed. Why the grammage will decrease? So we stop the machine and then find in the uh, metal filter, we find many uh, metal particles. These particles block the mesh and uh, the output from the extruder is decreased. That's why the grammage decrease. So after we clean all the extruder and change a new mesh, then the production is come is normal. And this one is another blocking. This is blocking is in the tile. It's in the spin spin rate, uh, in the spin rate uh, plate. The, in this uh, in this plate is one point six meter, and in some place. Uh, we can see the some black line. This means in this region, the hole. No, wait a minute. This means in this region, the, the hole is blocked. So, uh, in, in the final product, we can see the different diameter. The surface is not even. And in this line, we can find the fabric is uh, uh, is little is uh, uh, less than other place. So we need to we need to clean to stop and clean this uh, spin rate. Then we can come back to production. And uh, another one is uh, the filtration value. Even some customer add a, a lot of electric mass batch, the PFE is not high enough. So what we suggestion is to check the electric charger. Uh, if we if the electric charger it, uh, is good, then we can very easy to get 75% uh, PFE even without any electric mass batch. So if if the electro, if the PFE is too lower, we first need to check our electro charger. So this is uh, this is my introduction to the metal balloon fab uh, PP for the PPE. Thank you. Any questions? Mr. Nandakumar, can you take uh, care of? Thank you so much. Uh, just uh, give me one minute. Yeah, uh, just we had a few question answers uh, now. And uh, mm -hmm. the first question uh, we like to take it uh, is that what type of master batch recommended in Melo Flame? How to select PP grade you see used? Did you recommend filter in the product mix? Uh, okay. Uh, first, they ask uh, the which PP grade we using. Uh, so we su suggest we using uh, 15, 1500 PP PP resign. This is the first uh, uh, 
against this question. Another question is the must batch. Uh, what we recommend uh, is some nanoscale, uh, nanoscale uh, organic filler, such like some metal oxide. First, why we choose nano nanoscale? Because if the dimension is uh, two micron, then it's very easy to block the hole. And uh, to choose the metal oxide is because they have a high dielectric uh, constant. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, we like to take a next question. Uh, may I know that stencil test standard for the non-oven fabric? 